I'm Ben from Blueprint Reality, and I'm here to show you our new tool, Mixcast VR. Mixcast VR enables you to broadcast a VR experience in a more engaging and interactive way. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Mixcast VR so that you can start broadcasting right away. Mixcast VR will be available through Steam, so go ahead, install, and launch it. There are four steps we'll be walking you through. The first three are done on the desktop, the fourth is done in VR. The four steps are selecting your device, selecting your field of view, keying your green screen, and aligning your virtual camera. The first step is selecting your device. You can find it in the drop-down window here. By default, the first available device will be selected. Second step is to set your field of view. The easiest way to get the field of view information is to look it up automatically in our database. We've already entered the data for the most common cameras available. You can try this now by clicking on the cloud button. If the numbers change, your camera was in the database and you can move on to the next step. If not, you'll need to use another method to find your field of view. If your camera was not in our database, you can often find the information online. As a last resort, you can use our image recognition tool and we have a separate video to walk you through that method. The third step is keying your green screen. To do so, Mixcast VR features an intuitive method to properly key your colors. Simply click on the eyedropper to activate it. Then hover over a color you wish to key and click again. You can also click and drag to chroma key larger areas. Repeat these actions until you're satisfied with the result. Remember, you need to click the eyedropper and then the screen again with each additive step. If you go too far, you can reset your chroma key via the reset button next to the eyedropper and try again. To test your results, have a person walk into your space and see how the chroma key looks. Now for our last step, virtual camera alignment, let's move into VR. At this point, you might find it easier to pocket one of your controllers so that you have a free hand available. With your headset on, you should see a floating screen or output display that mirrors the mixed cast output on your desktop. If you can't find it, look around. It might be behind you. While holding the trigger, move your output display to the approximate location and orientation of your real camera lens. You may need to take your headset off for reference. For fine tuning, point the controller at the arrows around the output display and click the trigger to adjust its position and rotation. This process can take some time, but it does get easier. You'll know you've succeeded when your virtual and physical controllers overlap completely in the output display. Now that you've completed the four steps to configuring Mixcast VR, you're ready to broadcast in mixed reality. For those of you with a third controller, Mixcast VR allows for tracked camera movement using the same basic setup. First, mount your camera to your controller securely and make sure that it's connected in Steam VR. Then, follow the same four steps we've covered in this video. Lastly, press the menu button on the third controller once. That's it. You can now move your camera freely. We hope that this video showing the steps to set up Mixcast VR has been helpful. If you still have questions, feel free to contact us at blueprinttools.com. I look forward to seeing what you can do with Mixcast VR.